Search and rescue operations in all but two Turkish provinces have been called off. Officials say finding victims alive after two weeks is increasingly unlikely. And yet some are still being rescued. A mother, father and one of their children found alive on Saturday. Tragically, just hours later, the child died of dehydration. In Aleppo, a baby who was born in the rubble is now recovering. She's been adopted by her aunt and uncle with a newborn of their own. He says this girl means so much to us because there's no one left of her family besides her. In the midst of all the tragedy, survivors cling to little moments of happiness. Volunteers organized a birthday party for this five-year-old, complete with cake. She says she's had a wonderful day. For those who survived, another crisis is unfolding. More than a million people are now homeless. In Azaz, Syria, the challenge for families displaced by the earthquake is finding even a temporary shelter. This volunteer says the United Nations and relief agencies haven't reached the area yet. I just had a chance to fly over uh, say, to see some of the devastation. And uh, it's uh, really hard to put it into words. On Sunday morning, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken toured the hardest-hit areas of Turkey. The U.S. has pledged $185 million in humanitarian aid. Canada has offered to match up to $10 million in donations to the Canadian Red Cross. The most important thing right now is to get assistance to people who need it, to get them through the winter, and to get them back on their feet. An incredibly difficult task for so many still in mourning. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.